broken homes create weak people. And so today's question is, yo, Elliot, in your opinion, what is the most important aspect of raising strong children? And in my opinion, it's having two loving parents. You and I are literally made up of our mom and our dad. Your children will be made up of half you and half your wife or their mother. If those two halves of what we are are at war with each other, we are gonna be at war with ourselves. Hear me out. So of course we know that you get half your DNA from your mom, half your DNA from your dad, so your whole fleshly self is made up of those things. But there's also epigenetic factors, like the way your mom thinks and the way your dad thinks, and all the things that are associated with it, including emotions and temperaments and all of that. When those two halves of us, genetically and epigenetically, you know, mind, body, and soul, come together in harmony and love one another and create children, those children will emulate that harmony between the two half of themselves in their lives by experiencing and observing the harmony between their parents. But if there's disharmony between the parents, there will be conflict within the child and it's on so many different levels. Just think about where we are today with the epidemic of fatherless homes. And we know that most broken homes, the children end up with the mother. And what ends up happening is the parents being at odds with one another, they may start speaking poorly about one another. They treat the other parent with apathy or disdain. And then the child hears conversations from his mother with other women about how all men are terrible or I can't find a good man. Why is his father such a douchebag? Why is he such a loser? That boy or girl is going to relate to the opposite sex men in a way that is colored by the mother's opinion, the mother's words, the strife between mother and father. And what ends up happening is when you, there is a, a, a fight within ourselves, when there's, when there's a fight between the genders, the sexes, the polarity of a human being because of that, that, that environment or that wound, that trauma of having parents that don't love each other, it leads to hatred for the father. And if you have hatred for the father, you have hatred for yourself if you're a man. And I know that we get a lot of this because we live in such a, a feminist world. And so men who don't love their fathers can't love themselves. They really only operate out of a female mind because you can't operate of that which you hate. You hate yourself. A lot of men, they even if they don't know it consciously. I mean, like when I put up that Goggins video the, the, the other day, I realized I ruffled a lot of feathers because I was taking a pro-father stance, a pro-masculine stance, and assuming that his dad was actually way better than feminist Goggins was, but he grew up with his mommy. And so we gotta be careful that we don't fly blind into self-hatred and hatred for the father, hatred for the masculine. That's, that's the pervading issue. Usually it's a hatred for masculinity. But it goes the other way as well because in my estimation, hatred for the mother leads to homosexuality. Hatred for the mother is a pushing away from the mother. In a home where mother reigned supreme or mother was traumatizing, mama was tough, daddy couldn't handle her, a young man may disdain women as a result. Ugh, can't stand women. Go find love from men. And so you either get a feminist or you get a f depending on how you view your parents, how you view your dad, how you view your mom. So your whole life is experience, your whole life experience is determined by the foundation from which it comes. Male, female, polarity, mom and dad. So if we want strong children, 
we got to be strong and harmonious within ourselves as individuals, meaning my, my male and female parts, the mom and dad that are sitting on my shoulder, they can't be at odds with one another. They got to work together inside me. And then you find someone who's working on balancing that out in themselves. So you get two whole people, not needy people, but two whole people that come together and build a solid foundation, become one flesh, and raise children upon that foundation. That's so far gone in our society that I know that even what I'm saying right now is triggering the shit out of a lot of people. But that's the way it was, that's the way it should be, that's our natural state as human beings. Harmony between the genders, whole families, real families. Not this broken shit that's creating broken people that we see today. So that's my opinion, dude, done. <laughs>